Hi everyone! So I was requested to do the um, MAC Barbie promo look for Halloween in case anyone wanted to go as uh, Barbie and wanted to use the MAC promo. Now this is not the MAC Barbie look, this is the promo that was used to launch the MAC Barbie collection. The actual MAC Barbie herself is wearing a very, very different look, and you can feel free to comment in the bottom bar if you'd like to see that look as well. This is a fun look. I know a lot of gurus have already done it. However, this is my rendition of it. It's a little hyped up, a, very, uh, a lot of contour, a lot of highlight. Um, so you can always use the other gurus, though, if you prefer to use theirs. It's a fun look and it's just a nice green and pink look. I think you can also use it for strawberry shortcake if you wanted to. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. All right, so I've already filled in my eyebrows and I just used Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden all the way from my eyelid to my brow bone and a little under the eye. Little goes a long ways with the newer packaging because you're not like inserting air into it, which is fabulous. And then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and we're going to put that on the brow bone. She's got a very like heightened brow bone uh, color. And then we're gonna take uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green. And we're just going to put that all over the eyelid. If you have oily eyelids, I would use less. This is very creamy stuff. And then we're going to use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Horseradish, which is just a minty green. And we're going to put that into the inner tear duct and a little underneath the eye as well. So I would start with the lightest color first, obviously. I mean, just blend it out. Same goes for the eyelid. Gentle pressure, don't tug back and forth on your eyelids. All right, so we're gonna start off with a couple Inglot eyeshadows. I'm gonna start off with 399 and Inglot number 53. Now I did not purchase anything from the Barbie uh, collection. That was back in 2007, so I don't know that anybody really has those products to begin with. So I'm gonna start off in the outer corner with my Bedellium Tool 781, which is a really nice dupe of the MAC 2 uh, 26, which I believe was available around that time. Funny little Funny little side note, I was actually uh, working in Beverly Hills at the release of the Mac Loves Barbie collection, and I saw the Big Mac in Beverly Hills with the Barbie sign out in front, and they had decorated the whole store pink. That's what drove me to go into Mac, but I didn't buy anything from that collection. I bought three pigments. I remember what they were. One was teal, one was tan, and one was electric coral. So I'm just going to blend that out. All right. You can always go more into the crease as well with the 399 and the number 53 brush. Or sorry, the number 399 and number 53 colors. But any uh, mid-tone brown or medium to dark brown will do. And we're just going to start deepening up that crease. Now we're going to go in with pearl number 414, which is just this sort of light greenish color and we're gonna pack that all over the lid with a paddle brush. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that color and we're gonna pack it all over the lid. I believe this eyeshadow shade off the top of my head was called Springtime Skipper. So if I'm wrong, I did not get anything from the collection and I am going off the top of my head. I'm just going to go a little underneath the eye as well, just taking the edges of the brush to just sort of set the horseradish. It 
If you didn't use a green base, you'll still get a similar effect, actually. It just won't be as uh, rich a green. It'll look a lot lighter. All right, now I'm gonna be taking a little bit of Inglot, number 362, which is just this nice pink color. And we're going to pick some up on our blender brush. And we're going to start blending it out on top of the brown. The brown is necessary to have underneath this for the look though. It's just not going to be the same if you don't use the basic crease colors. You're just going to have a very like primary simple colored look without the browns. So just slightly blend that out. Obviously there's going to be a little bit more pigment in the outer corner because we started there and then just sort of lightly fluff it into the outer corner or the inner corner. Alright, so don't mind all these other shades. You just need this lovely number 351 Inglot. I don't have a good highlight shade in the other palette. So we're just going to blend that out on the brow bone. If you have any harsh lines, you could just take it down a little bit further over the crease shade. And just blend that out so you have a cohesive look. If you need to take a little bit inward as well, you can do that so that it has a soft look right up against your eyes. All right, now for the center of the eyelid, we're going to go in with a little bit of AMC Shine number 45. And we're going to set place that place that in the center of the eyelid. Now for the outer corners, of the eye. We're going to go back in with a little bit of Inglot's number 471, which is just the olive toned green. And we're also going to blend it with the 414. If you end up with a little too much color on your other shade, you can just rub it off. Alright, so we're just going to pat that blend on the outer corner. Picking some up as needed, and we're just going to take the leftover color and sort of shade it into the center. And that'll give us that same sort of duo sided um, kind of shading gradient effect that she has. Now, her Tightline Waterline is done in black, so you'll be needing a black pencil if you want to copy the look verbatim. If you don't, cool. And we're also just going to Tightline. I'm going to take a little bit more of NYX uh, Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green and we're just going to put that underneath the eye and then just tap it. That'll just kind of melt the pigment down so it doesn't budge everywhere. I'm going to go back in with that same lid color we used and we're also just going to place that underneath the lower lash line. And just sort of uh, liven it up. If you put any mascara on your lower lashes that will of course add depth um, but we're just gonna go back in with that color we already used which is number 471 it's a double sparkle shade DS and we're just going to put that over the center of the lower lash line and just kind of stroke it back that'll just give it a little bit more depth if you have deep set eyes or hooded eyes, smaller eyes, uh, you can always leave it lighter for a pop of kind of just fun and to liven up your, your look. Now for the liquid liner, we're just going to shake up our, sorry if the camera just blurred you out a million times. Uh, we're going to shake up the Urban Decay 24-7 waterproof liquid liner in Perversion. And she's got like a pretty... You know, she's got quite a pretty uh, large quantity of liquid liner. It's not a thin line. So we're just going to start building that line. This is a fairly fine pointed brush. So if you're somebody who hates liquid liner, this is a great one. It just takes a little bit of practice to work with. Just a couple, couple times of practice because the brush is more flexible than some. And we're just going to create that medium line. And I'm just going to flick it out a little bit. She doesn't really have a wing, but it is kind of cat-eyed out a little bit. It's sort of slight seductive flirt 
going on. It's a fairly continuous line, but it does uh, obviously kind of get thinner in the inner corner. Now for some fun doll-like lashes, I'm going to apply the Mr. Winks number 117s. Ardell makes the exact same thing in black, number 117s. And they're just these really long flirty lashes. Um, you can also, if you really want to buy the MAC ones, I think you could get the number 2s and just kind of curl them out with a curler. So if you're not comfortable with false lashes, this is already a great look. So I'm just going to add that extra flair to make it look just like the promo and we'll be right back. Alright, so for my under eye area, because trying to, you know, get the more doll like perfection thing, I took the Collection 2000 Illuminating Light Diffusing Concealer. I said it totally wrong and I'll put it in the bottom bar and it's number two natural. Alright, so my face powder is already on. It's the Inglot YSM. It gives nice full coverage. Just fluff that in with a duo fiber. Now she's really heavily contoured in the photo, and we're gonna go in and do that since this was requested for Halloween. If you want less of a costume look, maybe pop off the eyelashes and the contour, but it's up to you. Now we're just gonna go in and we're going to start at the back of the hairline, get the heavier contour going. And then for the actual nose, I'm just gonna start chiseling the sides and then it's kind of rounded out at the tip of the nose, so we're just going to go under it and lightly dust that, get that kind of doll-like look. Under the chin to kind of puff out the bottom lip. And then for the actual nose bridge, just fluff a little bit of that on. You can use a finer brush for this if you'd like. And then we're just going to start contouring the side of the face almost like applying bronzer. Just get a nice all over effect. And then for the actual hairline itself right across here, just go over that so you don't have like a white stripe and then just do the other side of your face. All right, so for the highlight, you can take a cream highlighter, but it might look a little less uh, fake since we're doing a plastic doll look. We're gonna go more for that artificial look. And we're going to take a little bit of MAC Silver Iridescent Loose Powder and Silver Dusk because it's so bright. And we're going to go in with the same brush we use. Duo fibers don't really pick up color from the brush that we've already really used. That's why I like them. You can just use them all over the face very easily. Also, using the same brush for your entire face also allows the product to kind of just, all the products of the face to marry together well, blend together well. So cheekbone, cupid's bow, and then the very center of the forehead, we're going to put quite a bit, obviously. And just spread it out. And on the chin. If you have any breakouts in those zones, you might want to skip doing this because highlighters aren't forgiving. Now for the blush, she's wearing quite a bit, obviously, because she's a doll. So we're just going to go in with her Blooming Cheek. MAC came out with a hot pink this year, and there's a lot of other companies like Stila Self-Adjusting in Pink. And we're just going to tap that into the brush hairs. And we're going to start at the back of the hairline. And we're just going to sort of pull it in. So it's not a doll-like of application, but it is um, obviously a very doll-esque color, the hot pink. So there you go. And just a little tip when you're fixing your hair for the look, if you're not going to do costume or you don't want it to look too costume, some modern day Barbies have more edgier haircuts. If you want to go as a classic Barbie, you might just want to get the synthetic wig and just, you know, do the whole blonde plastic hair thing. But um, to get that sort of doll-like-esque hair, you just don't want a visible part. You don't want your hair to be separated or parted visibly so you can see your scalp in any way, shape, or form. So that would be my key tip if you already have plenty of hair uh, and you don't want to wear a wig, just no visible part. So basically just going as a short-haired Barbie. All right, now for a little bit of MAC Lip Liner and InSync, just a nice soft pink color. Looks like that on the, on the lips. We're just going to line our lips and fill them in. Be right back. 
Now she's got a lot of contouring on her lips, so we're going to start in with MAC Magenta Lip Liner. And start shading it in, and then you can blend it out with your finger to melt down the product. Alright, now I'm going to take Viva Glam Gaga Lipstick. It's coming back out in December, all proceeds go to AIDS. I'm going to take NYX uh, Make a Shine Lip Gloss in French Kiss. It's just a nice sort of iridescent deep pearly pink gloss. I use this in my Gem Halloween tutorial. Okay, so that completes the look. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you don't want to go as Barbie uh, or a doll for Halloween, this is certainly wearable look because that's how it was originally intended. So thank you so much for watching and thank you.